Byronic hero is a variant of the Romantic hero as a type of character, named after the English Romantic poet Lord Byron. Both Byron's life and writings have been considered in different ways to exemplify the type. The Byronic hero first appears in Byron's semi-autobiographical epic narrative poem Child Harold's Pilgrimage, and was described by the historian and critic Lord Macaulay as a man proud, moody, cynical, with defiance on his brow, and misery in his heart, a scorner of his kind, implacable in revenge, yet capable of deep and strong affection. Byron described Conrad, the pirate hero of his The Cassair as follows. And. History, the initial version of the type and Byron's work, Child Harold, draws on a variety of earlier literary characters including Hamlet and Gertges with a. He was also noticeably similar to Rena Copyright, the hero of Chateaubriand's novella of 1802, although Byron may not have read this. After Child Harold's pilgrimage, the Byronic hero made an appearance in many of Byron's other works, including his series of poems on Oriental themes, The Jayu, The Cassair and Lara, and his closet play Manfred. The Oriental works show more swashbuckling, and decisive versions of the type. Later Byron was to attempt such a turn in his own life when he joined the Greek War of Independence, with fatal results. The actual circumstances of his death from disease in Greece were unlamorous in the extreme, but back in Europe these details were ignored in the many works promoting his myth. In his period as the talk of London, Byron was characterized by Lady Caroline Lamb, later a lover of his, as being mad, bad, and dangerous to know. Byron's influence is manifest in many authors and artists of the Romantic movement and writers of Gothic fiction during the 19th century. Lord Byron was the model for the title character of Glenarvan by Byron's erstwhile lover Lady Caroline Lamb, and for Lord Ruthven in The Vampire by Byron's personal physician, Polidori. Claude Frollo from Victor Hugo's The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Edmund Dante's from Alexander Dumas The Count of the Monte Cristo, Heathcliff from Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights, and Rochester from Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre are other later 19th century examples of Byronic heroes. Scholars have also drawn parallels between the Byronic hero and the solipsist heroes of Russian literature. In particular, Alexander Pushkin's famed character Eugene Onegin echoes many of the attributes seen in Child Harold's pilgrimage, particularly, Onegin's solitary brooding and disrespect for traditional privilege. The first stages of Pushkin's poetic novel Eugene Onegin appeared twelve years after Byron's Child Harold's pilgrimage, and Byron was of obvious influence. The same character themes continued to influence Russian literature, particularly after Mikhail Lermontov invigorated the Byronic hero through the character Pekarin in his 1839 novel A Hero of Our Time. The Byronic hero is also featured in many contemporary novels and it is clear that Byron's work continues to influence modern literature as the precursor of a commonly encountered type of anti-hero. Eric, the Phantom from Gaston Leroux's Phantom of the Opera is another well-known example from the early 20th century. See also, Hero, Anti-Hero, Tragic Hero, Charisma, Fatal Flaw, Notes. References, Christiansen, Rupert, Romantic Affinities, Portraits from an Age. 1780 Euro 1830, 1989, Cardinal, ISBN 0 7474 0404 6. External links Norton Topics Online, The Satanic and Byronic Hero, Immortals and Vampires and Ghosts. Oh my! Byronic Heroes in Popular Culture.